Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. Thanks for stopping in and taking a look at what we got today. So today we've got an iSteady Pro gimbal, um, and this is actually my main gimbal that I've been using um, for some of the, like you know the motion shots or some of the panning or B-roll shots. Um, obviously, this is a really small channel, so the GoPros are about the best that I have for cameras. Um, obviously, they're good for especially this small of a channel, but it is nice to have something that, of course, is um, basically stabilized. Obviously, it's not on at the moment, um, but it's a nice gimbal that I've been using. It costs around 100 bucks, but obviously, for me, it was a good investment because I've used this for school projects. I've done a lot of stuff with it. Um, so, it, for me, it's been a good investment. Um, but today, I'm going to give you an in-depth review. Of course, I'm also going to include some side-by-side -side footage with the ability of having two different cameras. I've been able to actually attach one on the bottom and go through and give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of stabilized versus not stabilized and with the same resolution, same camera, identical camera. Um, so it's actually you know a really good, um, one of my better review videos because it really shows you what the um, footage looks like. So a couple things to keep in mind. First off, this camera, or the, sorry, not this camera, this gimbal supports uh, GoPro. Uh, I believe basically any GoPro out there or any um, GoPro styled camera. And the reason why I say that is because the camera that I have here is not a GoPro. It's a Yi 4K Plus. Um, but the general idea is that how it works is it has a strap. Um, and then some foam on the strap that allows you to kind of slide your camera in there. So this is the camera that I have. It's a really small Yi 4K. Um, but the ability is that you can kind of um, unscrew these and then you get the ability to slide your phone, or not your phone, your camera in there. And then it basically stabilizes it based off of that. I obviously am using not a GoPro. Uh, it's actually not even listed on the official support for this gimbal. And it works fine, so not a big issue there. Um, a couple other things to keep in mind is that when you go through and you attach this, um, there's a lot of wiggle room in here, so sometimes you can get it crooked, um, and then it will stabilize it crooked, and it will still come out looking crooked. So the best way to do it is just align it to the bottom um, corner and try to make sure that your bottom corner matches, um, while also making sure that the uh, screw and strap um, holds it uh, in the right place as well. Um, a couple other things to note. Um, you've got the simple like joystick style controls. Um, this is power. Um, I believe if you hold this up, it stops the motion, and you, if you hold it down, it accelerates the motion. Um, so you basically holding it up would keep it in the same position, and holding it down would allow it for a little bit more um, closely related to what the joystick or the handle is. Um, so a couple uh, things I like about this gimbal. Uh, first off, you've got a regular camera mount here and here. Um, this has actually worked out really well in the past for like, I don't know, microphone, having a microphone mounted. Obviously with the problem with this being 
Um, the microphone that I have is rather large, so it doesn't end up, uh, actually ends up showing up in the shot, uh, especially if you're doing like vlogging style videos. Um, another thing is, this one is great for having it on top of, for example, uh, you had a slider or something and you wanted to attach it on here, that'd be a good option. Uh, and you could simply screw it on, it's a classic um, camera mount there. And the ability to attach it pretty much on a classic camera mount as well. And then of course you can do it on the side here. Uh, but this one I find is better for microphones when you have, you know, uh, the, the GoPro in there and you have the microphone pointing to your face. Um, obviously for me though, it's a little difficult on getting the wire uh, wrapped around from the camera to the microphone. Um, I've actually ended up putting like tape on the top here to do that so it ends up um, not affecting the way that the gimbal acts. Um, but pretty much it works out as a good, um, other than that, really good. Um, so a couple things I'd recommend adding, um, or I would wish they had added. Um, first off, this, as you can see, there is a USB port here. Um, but that is actually so that it's for charging, so you can charge the gimbal. Um, I would have actually preferred like a USB, um, maybe a USB-C um, port here that you could simply slide the camera into. And then what that would do is it would have an output here with also a USB-C that you could attach, you know, peripherals into, like for example a microphone, and it would automatically go through the gimbal without having to worry about, for example, you know, wires or something off balancing the gimbal and then it not working on uh, the same way. Um, a couple other things is uh, it's kind of lazy a little bit sometimes on you know the rotations um, even when you have like the buttons pressed um, still a little difficult um, at some times but overall it gets the job done um, is this a professional gimbal is this a gimbal that you're going to be you know expecting you know perfect turns and all that stuff on no this is a gimbal for a a three hundred dollar camera I would not recommend um, expecting that high performance out of uh, for something that's $300 but then again I would also be not expecting um, something that's almost $100 to be crap as well so this is kind of falls um, in a it's a pretty good option for the type of film you're going to be filming um, as for you know professional grade there are still some you know preferences and you know some slow turns and things like that that I'm not a big fan of but it is what I have to work with and that's what I'm going to be using so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed today's review if you did of course give it a thumbs up uh, if you're interested in checking out this, this will be in the description. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.